Hello, hello, I'm back. I am Sarah, I am Love Sockwell on Ravelry and Instagram, and I am here again on February 6th to chat with you about what I've been working on lately. I have, I'm surrounded by baskets and bags and bins and notebooks and scrappy projects, and I can't wait to share it all with you. I hope you are well. I'm doing pretty good. It's sunny today, which is really nice. It's actually very bright. I kind of feel like I need to have sunglasses on. It is, let me just, 22 degrees out, but it is sunny. And we have been in negative temperatures, like all last week. I think the lowest it got was like maybe negative 18 in the mornings, and then it would maybe get up to the single digits. So the fact that it's like 22 degrees you barely need a coat. It's amazing. Um, I'm loving it. And I think today it's supposed to get up to 37, which means some of this ridiculous ice that is everywhere hopefully will melt a little bit. Um, congratulations to all of us that live in the Northern Hemispheres. We are done with January. And I'm so excited about that because it is the longest month in the world. I'm so happy that it's February. And I have so much to show you. I don't know where to start. I think I'll start with some finished socks that I have. Um, I wish I could have like a count. I used to try to keep like meticulous notes of all of my sock whips and have a, a, like a head count of how many socks I had on the go. I've, I've long ceased doing that because that it would be impossible. It just would be impossible. So anyway, I'm gonna start with some Lolo Did It socks. So these two pairs I finished New Year's Eve. <laughs> and that was my goal, to get these done before the new year. So these are my Shark Week socks um, that uh, Lauren did a whole bunch of colorways for Shark Week, which was so fun. And I believe this one is called Shark Attack. And then the contrast color is outrageous, I think. And I chose it because it's like blood red, because of course, Shark Attacks, there's gonna be blood. So I love these and it's on the low original base and they're just lovely. I love them so much. And yeah, so I finished these and then I have another one of her Shark Week colorways. I think it's called You're Gonna Need a, or We're Gonna Need a Bigger Boat or You're Gonna Need a Bigger Boat. <laughs> it's another lovely blue color. <laughs> I have it all wound up and ready to cast on, but of course I have not done so yet. Maybe I'll save it for this week's, or this year's Shark Week. Okay, this next pair is um, an older hippo. Um, for, okay, well, okay, here we go. It's from August, 2021. And it's one of the uh, Hippo for Friends. And it's the one where Hippo smells smelly cat. <laughs> and so here it is. It's really cute. I really love all the speckles. And then this was just a random contrast color that I chose. Also Lolo did it. Um, the This base is the Lolo's favorite, which is Lauren's MCN or Merino Cash, Cashmere Nylon base, which I love, it's my favorite. That one and Lil Original are my favorite. I can't decide which one I like better. I go back and forth. But right now I like Lolo's favorite the best. And then I, um. Where's my basket of Lauren's yarn? Lily did its yarn. Um, this is uh, the next one. I believe this one is, it's a hippo for friends. Um, she did, I think, I don't remember if it was a full year of hippo for friends or if it was, I don't remember. Um, Cause I didn't get every single one. I think I got seven of them. <laughs> this is the third of the seven. And I think it's, do I have the tag? I think it's the rude hand gesture one. I don't know. I haven't even necessarily seen all of the episodes of Friends. I'm sure I have it. I'm, I just, I just love the hippos. <laughs> That's why I got it. Um, this is also Lola's favorite. And I, I love all the navy blue speckles. And then I think this contrast is from one of Lauren's, um, Oh shoot, she did this, this subscription and it, oh, the Impressionist subscription. I think this is, I think it was the Van Gogh one, I think. 
just to prove it's a second sock. Oh, look, I do have the tag. Here we go. There you, there you see. <laughs> I'll take it off so you can. So yeah, I, I do love my hippos. I am working through the hippos. Um, and I do have, actually, I can show you. Hold on just one minute. Delightfully disorganized as usual in my, this big old fat squirrel bag that I got at uh, Ryan back, um, 2018, um, at the Needles Up, which was so fun. I got this bag there, but this is where I'm keeping all my Lolo Did It whips. Um, they're all sock whips, basically. Um, but I have all my hippos in here. This one's December 2021, the one where Ross is fine. Kind of looks like it's some pink speckles in that one. This is 2022, January, the one where Hippo was on a break. And then, okay, this, oh, this one is really pretty, but I don't remember which month it was or anything. And it's only the first sock. And I'm doing a three by one garter rib. Isn't that pretty? I love all the speckles in that one. I don't remember which month. I don't remember the name or anything. And I might not have the, um, um, the label anymore. Let me see if I have any other. This is a hippo for friends as well, but I have no idea which one it is. I have several I need to work through, obviously. Hold on, let me see if I can get the, I wanna know what these names are. I wanna know what episode they're from. Let's see, what's this one? Oh, the apothecary table. I really like that one a lot because it's, um, I don't know, it's kind of like autumnal speckles. I need, I might knit this one next once I get the, um, once I get this one done. We'll see. Okay. All right. I think that's it for, well, oh, no, no, no. There's, <laughs> there's one more. Um, there's one more Lauren. Lilo did it. Okay. So this one is uh, Molly Weasley's knitting or Mrs. Weasley's knitting. I can't remember if it's Molly or Mrs. Weasley's knitting, but also by Lolo did it and it's on the low original base. And I think this is blazing seventies as the contrast. This, um, is an old hippo. I think it's hippo hippo for ice cream for breakfast or some, it was a random hippo from a long time ago. And then this one, I think, think is Professor Plum. I'm not sure. But I did it scrappy like that because that's I just know that's what Molly would do or Mrs. Weasley would do. So I do have the second one going and I'm ready to turn the heel. I just haven't done it yet. And then look at this stitch marker. It's a Harry Potter stitch marker and it's Felix Felicis and it's um, or the liquid look and it's a stitch marker from Lock and Loot. This is my favorite Harry Potter stitch marker ever, ever. I mean, it just is absolutely perfect. Looks just like the vial of liquid luck from the book and the movies. Okay, let me organize, get my, my whips back in my basket here. Okay, and I gotta get my, I gotta get my labels. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I know what hippos are which. Gotta get them put back together. Okay. Do I have any other finished pairs? Yes, I have one more finished pair of socks to show you. Um, well, maybe two, because I don't think I showed this, because I haven't recorded since before Christmas. So this was my Christmas socks I finished. Also, Lolo did it, and it's the Joy colorway, and the contrast is a homespun house in Jingleberry. And I also on the Lolo's favorite base, which I really, really love. So I'm so happy I got those finished. <laughs> okay, moving on to Ruby and Roses. Um, just the other day, maybe last night. No, what's today? Is today Monday? Yeah, it is. 
I finished these yesterday. These are my Hagrid's umbrella, another Harry Potter pair. They did knit up kind of a little bit, each sock is a little bit different. So I guess this gain was dyed kind of more in a fade, which I don't know if that's on purpose, but this happens to me a lot with indie dyed yarn where I'll knit socks and one sock is quite a bit lighter than the other sock. I don't really care because then I don't feel like I'm knitting the exact same thing twice. <laughs> I know technically they're probably supposed to match, but I don't really care. I enjoy it regardless, and I, I love it anyway. Anyway, this was Hagrid's Umbrella, which I purchased this yarn um, after Robbie Coltrane passed away, and he's the actor that plays um, Hagrid, and just wanted to, to remember him. One of my favorite characters from Harry Potter. And then this is um, also a Ruby and Roses Harry Potter colorway called Spectra Specs. And I also knit those into a the same pattern. This I'm sorry, this is the Rye Light sock pattern by Tin Can Knits. Very, very easy. It's just a panel of garter all the way down the front and the top of the foot. Super easy. You could throw it into any stitch count of socks that you like to make. But these, these are all um, 64 stitch socks. I'd like to make Ben a pair of these, just to make a man size pair of rye socks, but I just haven't done it yet. I think I will though, um, soon. I just love these so much. This is the third pair of rye light socks I've finished. I have another pair upstairs on the go. I just didn't bring it down. And I have plans to make more because <laughs> I really, really love it. It's probably one of my favoriteest sock patterns. And it's just so, it's just so cozy. Making that garter just is so fun. And it just makes such a squishy pattern. I really, really love it. So definitely I'm planning to make more. Let's take a moment and just sip some coffee. I wanted to show you my pottery that I've been trying to collect. So one of my goals for 2023 is that I, I would like to collect pottery mugs, <laughs> beautiful ones, and specifically ones that are local to me. And um, I brought, oh yeah, here it is. So this gorgeous mug is made by Paula of Pottery by Paula. And she is in Minnesota. She lives in Woodbury, I believe. Um, and you can follow her on Instagram. She's, um, hold on. I think she's, I think if you go to Instagram and type in Pottery by Paula, it, it'll come up. And I mean, she just makes gorgeous things. Um, she does, um, she has her own website and she does pretty regular updates. Um, and if you just follow her on Instagram, you'll find out when they are. I think she has a newsletter as well. Um, it, she's one of those that if, if she's having an update, and you know the date and the time, you need to set an alarm because everything will be gone in five minutes or less. This is the first one I got. And this was the January mug. And she, she's very, she's known for her um, detailing. And this is what you see on the bottom there. And here's the inside. I can't show you the inside of the other one or I'll spill my coffee. But they're just beautiful and I love them. And every month she does like a monthly mug. So, so this was January. I tried to shop the February update, but everything was selling out. I couldn't get what I wanted. Um, but I got this one and this is just, it's just a, I think it's called a mandala. I think it's a mandala design. Um, she has all these gorgeous Valentine's mugs, like with these little hearts all over. They're just beautiful. I couldn't get the one I wanted, but I did get, I did get another one that was, um, Valentine's related. So I, hold on, notification, sorry. Um, so when that comes, I will show that to you. So I'm so excited to see what she does for the March pre-order. Um, I may not be able to get it um, because she sells out so quick. I also, I, t I turned off notifications for Instagram because I'm trying to actually be on there less, but sometimes you miss important things. So I think I missed her last update because I didn't, I didn't know she was having it. So anyway, it's fine. It's always good when you spend less money. But I do want to be 
collecting as many of her gorgeous mugs as I can possibly get my grubby little hands on. And I'll keep showing them <laughs> to you as, as they arrive. Um, okay, I'm trying to think what I should show you next. Okay, let's, let's move on. Let's stay with Ruby and Roses because I adore her yarn. And I'm so happy for her. She just got married. It's so exciting. Um, I can't wait to see where her business goes um, in 2023. But let me show you some of uh, some more of her socks that I've been working on. Okay, so did I bring over? Yes, I did. It's like right in front of me. Okay, so I was working on this one after I finished these. <laughs> I have... I have so many pink yarns from Ruby and Roses because she does pink so well. Um, I am almost done with another pair. This is Fresh Cut Flowers. This is, see, these are very evenly dyed and I love that. But I also, just to, re I don't mind if they're different because I'm, it does not take much for, to make me happy. <laughs> and I just love knitting with her yarn so much. So it does not bother me at all if sometimes half the skein is a little more saturated than the other. Um, but anyway, this is uh, Fresh Cut Flowers and the contrast is also Ruby and Roses and it's a Harry Potter colorway and it's called Hidden House. And this is on her, this one is on her sparkle base, which I adore. She is one of the few dyers that has this specific sparkle base. It's a four ply sparkle. And I just love it. It's very, like the base for her sparkle, which all, okay, I don't think I mentioned this. Both of these are on the sparkle base. And I think she calls it rose gold because it's a gold Stellina. Oh shoot, I don't think I have. Yes, I do because I just got some more. <laughs> I might as well just show it to you. Um, okay, this is on her sparkle base and it's the rose gold base. 437 yards and it's an 80-15-5. So it's 80% superwash merino, 15% nylon, 5% gold Stellina. And this is Weasley's, Weasley Wizard Wheezes, another gorgeous Harry Potter. I only purchase the Harry Potter colorways on the Stellina base, as should you. <laughs> it's just the best. Um, But anyway, it's like, if you can look up, see how it's not, obviously, it's a four-ply. It's not a two-ply. So, it's very round and plump. Um, her other base is, which, what was that, what is that one called? The soft rose base is an 85-15. So, it's very, it's like it's the same base, but with Stellina. Like, it, it knits up the same. It kind of feels the same. That. Um, there's another one. This one is called Burgeoning Growth. I just love this green. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that, Stellina. If I can get yarns on a sparkle base, I get it on the sparkle base. Absolutely. Um, I have more in here, which I can't remember if I showed these a while back. This is Journal. This is Merriment. All of this is Ruby and Roses. All of it is on the Sparkle Base. And they're just first socks. I'm still <laughs> need to knit the second ones. I will get to it eventually. Oh, okay. Then this is also Ruby and Roses. And it's Holiday Style, one of her Christmas colorways. And I think this must have been, she did a sale of her Christmas colorways back in, I can't remember if I bought this in November or December of last year, 2022. And I, I bought Holiday Style on the Sparkle Base because of course, that's what I do. But I think this must have been, an, it, it must have been dyed a while ago because she must have, her original Sparkle Base was the two-ply one because this is the two-ply one as you can kind of see, which is fine too but it's not my, it's not quite as good as this. I, I love the four ply <laughs> sparkle, but I'm still super enjoying this and I got it on sale, so it's awesome. Um, so I need to get that second one going. I love this colorway 
I feel like it's so funny because I was knitting all three of these essentially at the same time. Like, doesn't that look like a nice fade? Addie does, she does pink so well. I just, I really, really admire her yarns immensely. Okay, is that it for Ruby and Roses? I believe it is. I'm still working on, um, so I got the Ruby and Roses advent calendar. Um, and I'm working on the anthology throw by Helen Stewart with that, but I did tuck it away after Christmas just because I just tucked away all my admins. I'm, just, I'm sure I'll pull it out again at some point, but I'm just not working on it at the moment, but it's beautiful and I love it. But I wish the entire thing was on the sparkleways. Eddie, if you ever watch this, which you probably don't, but if you ever do watch this, would you consider doing an advent in all sparkle yarn? I would love to get an advent that's all sparkle yarn, but I don't know of anybody that does that. Do you guys know of anybody that does a sparkle advent? Because that needs to happen. That needs to be a thing. <laughs> okay, let me get myself organized here. Back in my baskets. Okay. Let's put this back over here. All right. Okay. So it's 2023, which sounds like a fake year. Doesn't 2023 sound fake? I just don't even think it's a real year. <laughs> it doesn't feel real. <laughs> but, you know, at the end of every year, I always kind of evaluate, okay, what do I really love about my making and knitting? And what do I kind of want to be goals or whatever as far as the things I like to make for 2023 and I, I do believe that you should hold these goals very loosely because the whole point is to enjoy your hobby and enjoy creating I don't think you should necessarily have all these ridiculous rules on yourself um I think you should just enjoy what you're making and that often changes throughout the year a little interruption there Ben's working from home so he he pops up been with no warning. <laughs> so if there's little breaks here and there, it's just because I'm, I'm editing him out. <laughs> as much as I love him, I have to edit him out sometimes. Okay, I actually did make a few little notes in my notebook here. Let me see if I, if I'm on track. Okay, let's keep going with socks because I have so many to show you. Ooh, I actually might have to stop and get up and go. There's another uh, pair of socks I'm so excited to show you and I didn't bring them over. I'll get them in a moment. All right, I am working on a pair of socks for Ben that I just love. Let me, hold on, the yarn is stuck. Okay, all right, this is a pattern. Sorry if I'm bumping you and giving you a seizure, I apologize. Okay, this is a, actually a pattern <laughs> by Kay of the Bakery Bears, whom I love and adore forever. Um, it's called the Hobbity Socks. So it's like Lord of the Rings and Hobbits. And it's so squishy. It's just a lovely textured pattern. I absolutely love it. And this is one of my yarnable yarns um, from last year, I think. And it's called Avocardio. <laughs> um, it came and it also came with this cute stitch marker, which is a an avocado that's working out. It's got a sweatband on its head. <laughs> Uh, I love this colorway. It's a really calming green. And, and I love this base that Yarnable uses. It's, um, I actually have the February one right here, which I hope is okay to show you because um, if you haven't received your Yarnable for February of 2023, this fake year that we're living in, if you have not received it, then look away because I'm gonna show it. Um, it just came on Saturday and I'm in, I'm in the Midwest of the United States. So hopefully if you're in the US, you've received yours. Um, anyway, the base is called Plush Sock and it's an 8515 Superwash Merino Nylon, 437 yards. And here it be, this is February's. And the colorway is called Love Language. Yarn is my love language. <laughs> Boy, is it ever. Um, and it's just a really beautiful purple, really vibrant. 
I think it would be great in this pattern because it's basically like a tonal. So, so yeah, that was um, the yarnable for 2020, uh, for February, sorry. And, and it came with um, this notepad of um, a project tracker, which is really fun. I really love that. I'm totally gonna use that. Probably like tape it in my, one of my journals. Okay. Yeah. And then it also came with uh, a hat pattern, which is really nice. Probably won't ever make it, but it's, it's lovely. It's called Always and Forever. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. I am down the foot. This is a 72 stitch sock. Oh, someone had, oh, I'm so sorry. I keep bumping you. I apologize. Sorry, I probably, I'm probably lost. There's like no one watching anymore at this point. <laughs> okay, someone uh, commented on a previous video and I need to respond. I apologize, I have not responded. And it's because I notifications will come through on my phone saying that someone's left a comment, but then I can't find it later to, in order to respond because I'm not even sure which video it was commented under. But they asked how many stitches I use for a man size sock and so usually for Ben I do 72 stitches but sometimes I do 68 I think it just depends on the yarn the pattern and what I feel like at the moment um so anyway this one is 72 and it's, it's it I feel like it's making a nice <laughs> nice size for him um yeah there you go. The contrast color I'm using right here is Little Lion Head, and it's vintage plaid is the, which just sounds perfect for a hobbity sock to have a vintage plaid contrast cuff. And I'll probably use that for the toe as well. I'm probably about, I don't know, halfway down the foot. It's only the first one though. It'll probably take me the rest of the year to finish these. Maybe they'll be his Christmas socks, we'll see. Okay, let me tuck this away, my basket. Okay, so, oh, I was talking about goals for um, the year. And that my, my own personal philosophy is that you should hold these goals loosely. <laughs> you might start out being all gung-ho about something, but then as the year progresses, you realize, oh, I, I really need some more variety. So um, I do think you should hold your your knitting goals and your crafting goals loosely and let them flow and develop as the year flows and develops. But <laughs> that being said, I have deemed 2023 the year of the scrappy projects. Um, I just love knitting anything scrappy, whether it's blank, mostly it's blankets. Sometimes it's socks. I like to knit scrappy socks sometimes, although I'm not super into scrappy socks at the moment, but I just love knitting and crocheting all of the scrappy projects in the world. And I am going to, I am going to work on them in 2023. So this is one of them. This is my um, Cozy Memories blanket. It's the mitered square. Actually, let me turn it this way. I can't remember when I started this one, probably in 2019, 2018, I'm not really sure. It's probably the fourth one I've started. I don't know if I've ever officially finished one. <laughs> and that's the thing, you, you don't ever have to finish them. You can just keep adding to them for the rest of your life if you want, it's totally fine. I'm almost done with this row. I do like to try to add in, when I finish a pair of socks, to add that in relatively soon after finishing the socks. Like these were Marshall's Christmas socks in um, West Yorkshire Spinners. This is uh, Gingerbread um, by Homeless Fun House. I, I did finish that pair, I think in December, I think. Um, this was a mini caramel apple from Lolo Ditta that Jilly sent me for Christmas to add to my blanket and I just love it. This is Pretty Twisted um, in the Pretty Crazy colorway and I got that from Kay, um, Crazy Sock Lady, when she had her shop. Um, this, these three are this one, this one, and this one is all Mama Jess knits, which I love. So this was her summer sock camp colorway. This one was vintage Christmas, which I just absolutely adored knitting. 
and then this one was trick or treat so it's a halloween one um i am knitting her valentine i'll show you that one I, i'm i'm saving this corner to put her valentine colorway in um right there because then i'll have all my mama jess yarns all in the same corner um so this one is i think it's just called valentine's i think so um and i just love it and it's just that kind of typical four ply 463 yards a lot of dyers use this base it's lovely it's very smooth um very fine it's kind of a thinner i feel like it's a thinner sock yarn than it's definitely thinner than like the yarnable yarns but i love it I, I love all sock yarns i really do i have my favorites but i love all of them um and then i've got my cute little charmed and dangerous ben just came back in the door he's probably gonna say something to me hold on so yeah charmed and dangerous little stitch marker there so cute and i'm just knitting these on nine inch Let's just take a moment and talk about sock needles. I love knitting with nine inch needles. Last night we were watching a movie. Where's my, where's my Ruby and Roses? Right up, oh, right here, okay. So I was knitting on this sock last night. We were watching um, Amazing Grace, the story of uh, William Wilberforce, the abolitionist, so good, that's such a good movie. Um, so I was knitting on my second sock here. I think I was here, maybe something like that at the beginning of the movie. I pretty much knit the whole leg during that movie because I was knitting it on nine inch cirques. And these are chow goos. I have a couple of these. They're all in use. I don't have any that are free. I pretty much don't have, oh no, I do, I lied. I have one over there in my holder thing. Anyway, my point is I can really crank out <laughs> <laughs> if I'm just knitting plain vanilla, I can I can crank out the fabric much quicker with um, the 9 inch. I know some people don't like them because maybe they cramp your hands. And I feel like when I first started using them, they did kind of cramp my hands. But I must have gotten used to it because now it just flies. And I really, really, really like them. I also, um, I found a, a website that sells sells these for like nine dollars which is a couple of dollars less than what you can find in most shops and i believe the website is lantern hill yeah because i was watching the naughty nitwits and they were recommending this company because they make um wooden crochet hooks that are really beautiful and they're the lantern hill crochet hooks but they also sell other um, brands of, of needles and hooks and things and so they had they were they sold these but they sold the chow goo nine inch in bamboo so I ordered a set of chow goo bamboo nine inch needles I'm so excited to try this because I love to knit with wooden needles um and that was what I was gonna say next is that right now my favorite sock needles to knit with are the knit picks um wooden needles they're just they're the radiant wood knit picks has a couple different colors of wood like you can get the caspian which are green you can get radiant which are kind of like this i don't know what you would call that they just look wooden but they're kind of like purple and orange and then they also have the rainbow wood which is more colorful and then they have the sunstruck which is like a blonde wood which I also like those as well. But for some reason, the radiant ones are my absolute favorite. I don't know what it is, but they just feel the easiest in my hands. I really prefer to knit with wooden needles. Um, yeah, they're my favorite. I don't know why, but they just are. But I also really enjoy, <laughs> I really enjoy zings. So I have a couple of sets of these but for some reason like look how like I just like hit myself in the face with that they're so stiff the, the cables and I don't know if that has because I don't remember them being this stiff I feel like they have become this stiff over time so I'm not as crazy about these but I love the tips 
I love the golden the metal or I think they're aluminum. I, I don't know. So anyway, I love that there's so many different types of sock needles out there that you can try them. You can find what works for you. And honestly, depending on what type of yarns I'm knitting with will determine what type of needle I want to use. Like I also do really love the Chow Goo, obviously. This is a 24 inch that I use for my cozy memories. These are great. Um, yeah. What are your favorite sock needles that you like to use? Everybody has their favorites. There's no right or wrong. It's just whatever, it's personal preference. Okay. Well, let me see where, I, where I'm at here. Okay. Okay, continuing on. <laughs> scrappy projects. I love the scrappy projects. Um, I have a basket here that I keep my cozy memories in. This is my, my basket I got from Heidi and Lana. And I keep in here all my <laughs> yarns I have yet to put into the blanket. Um, other random projects get, end up getting thrown in here too, but I try to keep this one mainly just for my cozy memories blanket. Um, what shall I show you next? Okay, all right, let's keep talking about scrappy projects for a little bit longer because I've started a new one that I'm really excited about and I wanna share it with you because I want you to be excited about it too because <laughs> you might wanna do this as well. And it's, it's crochet. Um, I have a couple of scrappy crochet projects on the go. Um, I have a pretty decent size corner to corner crochet scrappy blanket. I didn't bring that one over because I have not touched it since the last time I recorded. So I'm not gonna show that one this time. Um, but I am working on the, the decrease. Um, but I wanna show you this scrappy crochet blanket I started. And um, I found, it's just, it's not a pattern, it's just a stitch that I found, a crochet stitch that I found on Pinterest. So I have a Pinterest board. I think you can find me on Pinterest. I think I'm Love Sockwell on Pinterest too. Um, but I have a crochet board. So if you can find me on, on Pinterest, you can find my crochet board. And I have tons of things pinned that are just cro crochet. It'll be like just like a swatch of a crochet stitch. And I it'll suggest them to me <laughs> when I'm on Pinterest. And so I save them because I think, oh, that could be, that has scrappy possibilities. So I found one like months and months ago and all it is is half double crochet for the entire blanket. The only thing that you do is instead of knit, uh, crocheting through both loops as you're going across your row, you only crochet into the back loop. And when you do, you get this. And quite frankly, it kind of looks a little bit like knitting. It looks like fisherman's rib or maybe even brioche. But I just love it. And I hope it's like, <laughs> I hope you like it as much as I do. I think it's really cool. And it makes a very dense fabric. It's basically ribbing. You're basically crocheting ribbing. Like a, it almost looks like one by one ribbing. But I just really love it and it's really easy to do. It's totally meditative and mindless. And all you have to do is just crochet um, a chain the length that you want it to be. You don't have to count anything because it doesn't matter because you're, you're literally gonna then just start half double crocheting into the back loop of every chain all the way across. When you get to the end of the row, chain one, turn and start doing the same thing. You just half double crochet in the back loop of every half double crochet all the way across and you get this. And I just think it's really cool. And I love when you can fold it. <laughs> and then, I mean, look at that. It looks like knitting, but it's not. I started, this is where I started. I kind of don't think I did the best job. I feel like it's a little loosey goosey, but whatever, it's fine. I suppose when I make it as big as I want it, I could go around and do a border, but I don't know if I'll even bother. It's gonna take a while <laughs> to make it a nice big size, but 
but I really, really love it. And it's, it's fun to go on Pinterest and just look at different crochet stitch options because there's a lot of stitch options out there that translate really well to just scrappy. Like there's a couple other ones I, I would like to try at some point, but I'm going to just stick with this for right now. So it's, to me, it's like, this is my crochet granny stripe, except it's not granny. <laughs> it's just half double crochet. And I've, I've put just random leftovers. And then these three here are from my row one minis subscription. This is Spectra Specs from Ruby and Roses. And this is another one from my row one mini subscription, which I will show you now because it's right here. This is, I guess this is February. Um, yeah, this is February. And it's all from Charming You. This one is Escalante. And the thing that's fun about row one minis is that it, it's often like dyers I've, I've never, I'm not familiar with. So this is Wedding Crasher. So it's so fun because you get exposed to dyers you haven't necessarily heard of before. This one is Carousel Gardens. I'll probably put all of these on this blanket. And Tropical Punch. Oktoberfest, Malibu Barbie, I love that one. <laughs> Some of these I really want to put in my cozy memories because I just want to see them as squares. This one is Milky Way, Dusk, it's so pretty with pastel, and then ah, oh, Sea Breeze. So yeah, these are so fun. I don't know how long I'll keep subscribing to it, but it's so lovely just getting these little minis in the mail and they're already wound up and ready to go. You don't have to stop and wind anything. You can just add them into your scrappy projects, which is brilliant. Love them. And do I need them? No, I do not. But I don't care. Oh, and here's more. <laughs> This was my January row ones, which, um, okay. It's from So Happy Jane. So these, that gray and kind of cream and then the blue, those are all So Happy Jane from the January collection of row one minis. So it's so satisfying to use them all up and they're only 10 grams. So if you're crocheting them, you use them up pretty quick. Like. I, I used up a couple of them just in a day. Um, I find that very satisfying. <laughs> I love when you can use up minis quickly. Cause then you feel like you've done something. And then I should show you what hook I'm using. I'm using a tulip hook and I'm using a D hook and it's 3.25 millimeter. And I did order a wooden Lantern Hill 3.25 millimeter needle hook. Um, from them and I'm so excited to try it because the um the naughty nitwits girls were recommending the lantern I think it's lantern hill wooden crochet hooks I'm really excited to try them because the uh apparently the lantern hill wooden crochet hooks have a sharper tip and honestly you kind of need that a little bit because you're only going through the back loop and so you, you do kind of have to watch what you're doing a little bit to make sure you you catch the right hoop. So I'm excited to try, to try those. Okay, I have this in a bag. Where did I put it? Here it is, my Harry Potter bag. My Marauder's Map Vintage Love Sock Wool Bag. <laughs> I'm keeping my, uh, my scrappy blanket in here until it outgrows it, which it probably will very soon, which is always exciting. It's so exciting. There's some, I think that's why I love scrappy blankets is because if you just keep working on them, even if it seems like it's slow going, every time you work on it, they are getting bigger. And I just love watching them get bigger. And like you're creating fabric. To me, it's like a tapestry. Like you're just creating this tapestry of beautiful fabric. It's, it's, there's just something magical about it. I don't know why I love it so much, but, but I do. And I'm, I, 
suspect you do too. <laughs> okay, I will show you another scrappy project that I started at the beginning of the year. And I did, I think I showed a bit of this on, on Instagram. So I don't know how I came up with this idea. I think it was Pinterest because um, when I get on there, it always shows me drops fobble patterns and they're beautiful. I mean, and a lot of them are, well, or drops patterns, but a lot of those patterns are in the drops fobble yarn, which is their like self-striping, self-patterning sock yarn. So what do I do? I go to woolwarehouse.com and I pretty much get every single color they have because it only costs like $2 or $2.65 or whatever. It's super cheap sock yarn, but they're very beautiful and they're all, you know, self striping. It comes in all different colors. It's, it's kind of amazing. And I couldn't get it out, get it out of my head. And I was like, I just want to make a cozy memories blanket and all drops bobble. So that is what I'm doing. <laughs> so here it is. And I even did one really big square. <laughs> I'm doing 60 stitch squares. And I just really am enjoying it. And I think I figured out my measurements that I need to make it like a, just like a throw size. It's not going to be ginormous. It can, be, it can be as big as I want it to be, but I probably will only do 10 by 10. And it'll just be a lovely colorful throw to add to the back of couches and chairs. So there's that. And it's all being kept in this bin right here. I actually haven't worked on it. I haven't put a square on it in a while. I need to get back to it, but I get distracted by all the other scrappy projects. Okay, let's see where, okay. This next project that I wanna show is an actual project. It's a legit project that technically is not scrappy, but it has scrappy vibes and it has scrappy possibilities. <laughs> so I love it. It is the half and half triangle wrap by Pearl Soho. I'm sure many of you are familiar with this pattern. It's a free pattern from the Pearl Soho website and it's, it's designed with their yarn, which is called Linen Quill. And, and I have four different colors here. And I, I started this pattern, I honestly don't remember when I started it, but I'm pretty sure it was 2021. Because somehow I had fallen down some rabbit hole on Instagram. I was probably looking at like the hashtag, half and half triangle wrap. I don't even remember how I came across it because I had not heard of it before at that time. And, but I, I was just looking at everybody's projects, finished objects of them, whips, etc., under the hashtag half and half triangle wrap on Instagram. And I just absolutely love it. I'm, I cannot tell you how obsessed I am with this project. That's how much I love it. <laughs> and it is, uh, I am knitting it with the linen quill, which is what it calls for, which you can purchase through the Pearl Soho website. It's very affordable. Um, it's a fingering weight Highland wool alpaca linen blend, which is very unusual. I've never knit with that type of blend of yarn. It is fingering weight. It's very kind of wooly, a little bit rustic, but just delicious and yummy. Um, and I'm just gonna show it to you. It's a little wild. Um, the colors, if I were to choose colors today, I probably would not choose these specific colors. I bought four colors. You need six skeins to make the large size, which is what I'm doing. But for some reason, I only bought four colors, so I actually don't have enough <laughs> yarn to finish it. Um, now the original pattern, it, it's, a, it's called the half and half triangle wrap. So you're, you're knitting a huge, you're basically making a square but you're doing it as triangles, making short rows to make the triangle. And it's very simple, it's very mindless, it's very easy, a beginner could do it, I'm sure. Um, but the pattern has you do one triangle, one color, and the other triangle, another color. But that's too boring for me, I have to do all of the colors. So I'm doing all four of the colors that I got, and it looks like a beach towel right now. 
but that's okay because it's what I have and I'm using what I have. So are you ready? You might want to put on sunglasses because here it is. <laughs> it's very, it's very bright and garish. Um, but I love it. I love it so much. So this is um, the hot pink color. I think it's called pink pop. And then this is an orangey color. It's called red poppy. And then this is green turquoise and the lighter blue, I think is maybe Robin's egg blue or egg blue. I, I can't remember exactly. For some reason at the time, these were the colors I wanted to knit this in and I probably would not choose these colors today, but it is what I have, so I am using it. Now, like I said, <laughs> you need six skeins to finish this whole big kahuna, so I did order three more colors. Not these colors, they're completely different colors and I think they might come today. Sorry, the sun is moving. I probably need to kind of scoot over a little bit so the sun is not in my eyes. So anyway, I just love this so very, very much. And I cannot wait to, to have the finished object. It's very, very mindless. It's very easy to knit. It is little, literally miles and miles and miles and miles and miles and miles and miles of garter stitch. So if you, if you don't like knitting garter stitch, you're not gonna like this. But I adore knitting garter stitch, so I want to make 10 of these. Um, it has definitely usurped the garter goodness in my estimation as for garter love. <laughs> as If you've watched my past episodes, you know how much I love the garter goodness by Stephen West, which I still do. I still love that one. But I love this even more. So, yes, anyway, I am creating the short rows. Um... It is a free pattern, so I, I guess I can talk about how you do this. But um, you're supposed to do wraps and turns when you do the short rows, but I am not doing that. I'm doing the twin stitch from the Fish Lips Kiss heel pattern because I can see it better. Now, I do have a stitch marker here, which will, it, it's marking like that I need to, the next stitch that I need to wrap is that one. So that's how much, this is how much I've, how many, that's how many short rows I've done. And then this stitch marker in the middle here is, is the halfway point for the first triangle. So I'm not even a quarter done, but I'm, I'm almost, <laughs> I have to get from here to here and then I'll be halfway done with the first triangle. Um, and then I think it's going to go much faster because with every stitch you wrap and turn, you, the rows are getting shorter and shorter. Does that make sense? It's it's wonderful. I just love it. And I can't wait to keep knitting on it. Like, I just really, really love it. And it's, even though I'm barely a quarter of the way done with the entire thing, it's big enough that I can fold. I can fold it. I mean, look at that. Look at that fabric that is being created. I, I just love this and I, I highly recommend it. If you need a, a squishy, gordery goodness, just luscious fabric with an interesting fiber blend, I, I cannot recommend this enough. I just love it and I, I, I'm already planning several more. <laughs> My birthday's in March and so I'm probably going to let myself start another one in March, even if I'm not done with this one. And I love it so much that I had to dedicate an entire Kana basket to it because it is worthy of its own basket. So, would you like to see the individual colors? This is the, I think it's egg blue, Robin's egg blue, something like that. This one is green turquoise. This, this is the pink one. I'm almost done with that one. And I am going to go back to this one. Once I, like I'm gonna go back to the orange after I finish green turquoise and then back to the pink and hopefully that will get me to the end of the, the first triangle. And here's red poppy. I, I love it so much. I'm so happy that I rediscovered this because I, like I said, I had, I had started this back in, I think the fall of 2021, if I'm not mistaken, but then I, I had started it and I had maybe knit like that much, but then I kind of forgot about it or I tucked it away and, and then I somehow 
rediscovered it again and just picked it up and, and then all of a sudden I'm obsessed. <laughs> so there's that. Okay, I'm trying to think what else I can talk to you about next. Do I have any other scrappy projects? Those are the main ones. Yeah, those are the main ones. Cozy Memories, Half Double Crochet, and Drops Fobble, and the Half and Half Triangle Wrap. Those are my, those are my, my loves right now. Okay, um, I did finish, get back to socks, I did finish the Pink Christmas Socks by Hedgehog Fibers, which I think if you go to my Instagram feed, I have a, a start, I knit the toe up. I already gave them to Juliet. If I can try to remember to insert a photo, I did take a picture of them so I can show them to you. Um, I did finish those and I had used, this is the, she's wearing them. She's at school today and is wearing them. This is Pink Christmas or Pink Miss. I've heard it both ways. And then, uh, and this is also the colorway of the month for December as was this colorway by Hedgehog Fibers, which is called Stout, which I also love. And I used this for the heels and cuffs. Um, I will try to insert a photo here. Okay, so I just put those photos in. You saw that. Um, okay. So Hedgehog Fibers, I did not realize that they did this, but when you go to the Hedgehog Fibers website, they're out of Ireland, which I love. I love anything Irish. Um, they do a colorway of the month. And so, and I think that's, I love that so much. There's another one of my Radiant Sock Needles that I adore because I have it ready for casting on more Hedgehog Fiber socks. I got the two colorways of the month for January. And the first one is Jelly Bean, which is just so fun, so colorful. And the other one is called Heath. And I just don't know if the camera will adequately do this one justice, but it is so beautiful. I think I'm gonna make socks for Ben, maybe me, we'll see. And I might do the Rylite pattern. I love Hedgehog. They, it never disappoints. Um, I did actually get the Hedgehog um, Advent Calendar in 2021. It was the only Yarny Advent Calendar I got that year because we were out of town for Christmas that year and I just didn't want to get too many Advents. But um, I have them all in here <laughs> and they're just beautiful and I decided that I'm just going to knit scrappy socks with them. And when I say scrappy socks, I mean I just pick a yarn from this advent and just cast on a toe up sock. When I run out, I'll pick another one and then do the heel and keep going. And so I have a couple going. So this one is ready for the heel turn. I just haven't done it yet. This one is just kind of, you know, barely up the foot. But I just think that'll be fun. So it's gonna be kind of more, it's scrappy. Um, so it'll be kind of more color blocky as opposed to just straight up scrappy but very enjoyable nonetheless. So there's that. I feel like I'm running out of things to show you. There's probably a lot more I could show you, but I think I will call it a day for now and clean up my mess that I have around here. If only you could see it, it's quite shocking. <laughs> um, anyway, thank you for watching and I hope you're enjoying your scrappy projects and socks and blankets and whatever you love knitting and crocheting. And I hope that you will and visit with me again soon. Okay, take care. Bye. I wasn't done. I still have a little bit more <laughs> to share because I wanted to show you some yarn that I am destashing um, that I actually have already listed in my Etsy shop, um, which if I'm able to, I will try to link here in the drop down. Um, otherwise, you might be able to find it linked in my Instagram profile. I'm pretty sure I can like it below. I just have to get my act together and do it. <laughs> um, but I wanted to show you some fun yarns that I have listed in my Etsy shop that I love. Like I love all of these yarns.
um, but I am trying to organize a little bit and um, get my stash into a little bit more manageable. I need to be able to fit my stash in my bin in my room, and right now I can't fit at all. So I'm selling some of them <laughs> so I can be a little more tidy. Um, so I've got a couple of great ones, um, or, or a lot of great ones actually. Um, I have got some Bumblebee Acres sock sets. Um, this one is Catching Fireflies. And it's very similar to the yarn that she dyed up, or that they dyed up for um, for Kay's uh, summer sock camp, the camp fires and fireflies. It's very similar to that, but it's called Catching Fireflies. And it's on the Coquette sock, which is a superwash Corydale, which is lovely. It's very squishy. Um, and then I have this one, which is a Eurovision inspired and it's called Spiorg Note. So pretty. So I have those, oops, sorry, dropped them. I have those two ready to, ready to ship out to you if you like them. I've got a gorgeous, Pretty Twisted, and the only reason why I'm selling this one is because I have two other colorways of Pretty Twisted that are very similar to this. So I'm willing to let this one go to someone who loves it. It's called Punky Power, and it's on her lavish sock base, which is that 8515 Superwash Merino Nylon base, which is one of my favorite bases. It's the same base, I believe, that Yarnable uses, which I love, and it also comes with a sticker, which is awesome. So there's that one. And um, I, ooh, I have a lovely self striping by Woolen and Nosh. And it is called Costume Party. And it's on a 90% superwash Targi, 10% nylon, three ply, it's, which is such an unusual base for a self striping sock yarn. It's very interesting. And I have, I have a couple other of her colorways and they're, they're delightful. So I have that, um, let's see. I have got uh, Christmas at Hogwarts on Lolo's Favorite by Lolo Did It. Super pretty, got that one. I've got, oh, I think I got this from Kay's um, shop when it was open. It's Kimber's Cozy Creations and it's the Crazy Sock Lady colorway. I love all of these. I just don't have time to knit them all. So I'm willing to send them on to someone who wants to knit them right now. <laughs> um, and then I've got a sock set from Little Lionhead on her BFL tweed base. It's a sock yarn and it comes with two minis which are not BFL but that's that's what they came with and it's called Cabin in the Woods. There's that. Little Lionhead. She's an amazing dyer. She does awesome work um and oh and then I have a whole bunch of um pineapple yarns which I adore I have so much of her yarn though <laughs> so I was like oh I think I can I can let a couple of them go so I've got and some of these are um cl from clubs um this one is from March 2022 her glow club and it's called flourishing and it's on her gold nani twist so this is a sparkle base it's beautiful and let's see, this one is also from a glow club and it's February of 2022 and it's called Rosette. And it's on the Lani sock base, which is a four ply, um, 463 yards. And the, these next two are also on the Lani sock base. This one is called Shell Collection. It's really beautiful. And this last one was one of her end of the day colorways. And it's end of the day, number 65. It's really beautiful. So those are all listed in my Etsy shop and I will uh, do my utmost to get that linked in the, in the drop, down, uh, drop down box below. If you are interested and wanna go take a look, they are there. And I will get them winging their way to you quickly if you want them. So. There you go. There's that. Okay, I think I'm finally done. <laughs> Thank you for sticking with me as long as you have, and I hope you have a wonderful rest Thank of your day. Thank you for watching. I'll see you around, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.